channel so I'm going to be making a butternut squash soup today I've never made before so trying out new things um, so um, I'm going to use half of the butternut squash that I had um, what I'd cut and peeled from yesterday so uh, let's make a start right guys so this is what I've got so this is one bit of butternut squash I've got some frozen uh, onion I'm gonna leave that in some water um, because it is frozen just to defrost it a bit uh, so I've got some rock salt a bit of pepper and a bit of garlic granules so that's what I'm gonna be using because we have to roast the butternut squash first so I'm going to leave the onion in the water for now and make a start on cutting up this butternut squash. Because so I'm going to cut this end bit off. These bits out of the way. I'm going to it's quite tough, this button I squash. Flat, I'm gonna cut this one again. Cut them together. Quite easy to do. Don't need these bits. As you see, there's quite a lot of butternut squash here. Um, I find the smaller you do your cubes, the quicker it cooks, and obviously the thicker and bigger you do it, the longer it cooks. So I'll be um, putting this onto a baking tray. You can use uh, greaseproof baking paper or foil or you can just put it straight in I'm going to use the paper because it's a lot easier to clean um, yeah I am quite enjoying the butternut squash I don't know why it's taken me all this time to actually start eating it um, but it is really nice so um, I'm going to pop this onto a baking tray I'm going to use a bit of fry light and then all my seasonings and I'm going to roast it for about 30 minutes, halfway through turning over. Right guys, so that is my greaseproof paper already on. And there goes all my butternut squash. Some people say you shouldn't overcrowd it, but I think this should be fine. I don't have a huge amount here. So, we're going to add onion, and then add a bit of uh, rock salt.
purple. And a bit of garlic granules. I don't have normal garlic. So this I'll have to do. Normal garlic would have been better because normal garlic is speed. So that's ready to pop into the oven. I'm cooking on 200. Um, using gas, so I'll say gas mark 5. There we go, guys. So it's taken a bit longer than I thought. It's been 25 minutes, so I'm just going to turn it over and cook for another 20 minutes so i'm gonna let this cool down now for about 10 minutes and then i'll be popping it into the blender with some vegetable stock so i'll put one vegetable stock cube in and i'll show you which one i'm using just a tesco reduced salt vegetable stock i'm gonna fill that up with about 400 ml of water. Right guys, so I hear I've got my vegetable stock. So I'm going to start putting in the butternut squash. Like I said I've never done this before, so I'm trying out new stuff. And as the weather is starting to get a bit colder, it's the perfect time to have soups. Today was terrible, I got absolutely soaked in the rain. So I thought, perfect day for soup. Just a little bit more, there we go. That's all the butternut squash. So let's pour a bit of a bit of stock in there and see how we get on. Let's see how this goes. So if it comes too thick. Add a bit more stock. So it looks a bit thick there. Let's pour it in. There we go. Put that back on. Let's see what that looks like. quite thick I might add a bit more stock to that I don't like it too thick just add a, a tad more let's see round two Tell ya, it does uh, smell nice. That's perfect. That's how I like my uh, soup. Not too thick, not too runny. So let's pour that into a bowl. This is one of my new bowls that I've got. There we go. And the is my butternut squash. And you, uh, I just pop the lid on. Sorry, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> and you can store this up to apparently up to five days in the fridge. So, don't know if I'm gonna have it now or if I should uh, have it for work for tomorrow, but that's how you make the butternut squash. Hello guys, so that soup was really nice. Um, 
like I said, I like trying new things. If you've not tried it, maybe you should give it a go. Um, and that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted you to, to say something. Could you uh, go and check out my friend's channel? He's not been doing it long. He's only got about 40 subscribers. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd pop over there, subscribe and check out his, um, his videos because he makes some really good food. So uh, I'll put the link in the description for you. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.